Your G4 comes with a wide variety of attachments for added versatility. In this section, we'll discuss removing the power nozzle to convert to a canister cleaner, using extension tubes, using the suction control grip, using a variety of attachment tools, using your G4 as a blower unit, and using the portable sprayer and portable shampooer. When using different cleaning attachments, the attachment hose is connected to the front of the cleaner in place of the power nozzle. The attachment hose may be used in either the upright or portable configuration. To install the attachment hose, first place tech drive in neutral. Raise the nozzle, turn the power off, and unplug the Kirby from the wall outlet. Raise the headlight hood and turn the belt lifter counterclockwise until it stops and the red arrows line up. Unlock the power nozzle by turning the accessory lock all the way to the left. At the connector end of the attachment hose, you will notice two hook-shaped lugs. Hook the lugs over the ends of the attaching bar, then push the opening of the hose up against the Kirby. Lock the attachment hose connector in place by turning the accessory lock to the right, then lower the headlight hood. With the attachment hose in place, the G4 will automatically adjust to high-speed hose operation. To attach any of the tools to the hose, push lightly while twisting the smaller end of the hose into the tool. One or two extension tubes can be attached to the end of the hose to extend your reach and efficiently use various attachments. The surface nozzle may be used on bare floors or for surface cleaning carpets and under low furniture. Rubber wheels on the nozzle allow it to glide silently on the surface of hard floors without scratching. When using attachments for certain applications, such as vacuuming drapes, you may want to control the amount of suction. The suction control grip features a valve to control the amount of suction. Simply slide the valve control back and forth until the desired level of suction is reached. The suction control grip can be used by itself with the attachment hose or with extension tubes. The suction control grip may be used between extension tubes. Or if you like, it can easily be moved to the end of the tubes, giving your brush attachments a different angle with which to clean. Attach the wall and ceiling brush to the end of an extension tube to clean walls, ceilings, drapes, and other surfaces. By rotating the brush, you can clean hard-to-reach places like high bookshelves. The duster brush may be connected to the attachment hose or the extension tubes to remove dust from any surface, including contoured or irregular surfaces. The upholstery nozzle is used for cleaning upholstered furniture, carpeted steps, and clothing. The crevice tool with the removable brush in the end removes dirt from sliding door rails and carpet edges. Remove the brush and the crevice tool can be used for cleaning cracks, crevices, corners, grooves and narrow openings without scratching. Used with the attachment hose, the massage cup provides an invigorating skin or scalp massage. Your G4 can also be used as a blower. With the power nozzle disconnected, fasten the air intake guard onto the attaching bar in the same manner as the attachment hose. Lock it on by turning the accessory lock all the way to the right, then lower the headlight hood. Press the bag release button and slide the bag top off. To remove the bag assembly, grasp the mini mTOR handhold and rotate it out and away from the Kirby as far as it will go. Line up the indicator line on the hose end with the indicator line on the metal exhaust port and twist the hose connector clockwise to lock it in place. 
Remove the cord from the upright handle. Then remove the upright handle and replace it with the portable handle. By attaching the inflator-deflator tool to the attachment hose, you can inflate toys, air mattresses, or other similar low-pressure inflatable items. To deflate items, take the blower hose off the G4. Attach the Mini mTOR. Then fold the bag and clip it into the portable handle. Remove the air intake guard. Connect the attachment hose to the front of the Kirby. Connect the inflator-deflator tool to the attachment hose. You may now use your Kirby to deflate items or clean tight areas such as computer keyboards or audio-video equipment. The portable sprayer is used only in the blower mode. It is an excellent tool to apply many different types of water-based liquids to any type of surface. The spray can be adjusted, ranging from very fine to very coarse. Uses include applying water-based waxes to tile floors, deodorizing pet houses and bedding, applying self-mixed window cleaners, or spraying water-based paints or stains on walls, wood panels, and irregular shaped objects. One safety note, never use oil or solvent-based paint of any kind in the portable sprayer. The motor is open to the spray and could ignite flammable and volatile paint solvents. Also, note that the portable sprayer has not been tested or certified for use with any kind of paint by Canadian Standards Association. To set up the portable sprayer, unscrew the jar. Then fill three quarters full with any non-flammable liquid. If the portable sprayer will be tilted during use, use less solution to avoid large droplets in the spray. Screw the top on tightly. Make sure your Kirby is set up as a blower unit. The attachment hose should be connected to the exhaust port and the air intake guard should be on the front of the unit. Then connect the sprayer to the attachment hose. Holding the portable sprayer as level as possible, aim it toward a sheet of newspaper. Turn the Kirby on and squeeze the trigger spraying your water-based solution onto the newspaper to check spray pattern. With the nozzle pointed away from you, adjust the spray by turning the spray adjustment control on the trigger. Use slow, sweeping motions to spray the desired area with solution. Always squeeze the trigger fully to permit maximum flow and spray control. Immediately after use, Wash the jar with warm water. The portable sprayer dip tube should also be removed and washed. To remove the nozzle jet on the front of the sprayer, simply press the two latches on the front and pull it out. Now the inside of the sprayer and the nozzle jet can be cleaned.
Then return the nozzle jet to the front of the sprayer by aligning the latches with the holes on the front and snapping it in place. Reassemble the rest of the sprayer so none of the parts will be lost. Then rinse the sprayer jar and fill it with warm water. Spray the water until the spray becomes clear. Never clean the portable sprayer with flammable cleaning fluids. The motor is open to the spray and could ignite flammable and volatile paint solvents. The portable shampooer is also used in the blower mode only. The portable shampooer is designed for fast, easy cleaning of carpeted stairways and areas that are difficult to reach with the carpet shampoo system. However, the portable shampooer is not recommended for use on upholstery or delicate fabrics such as silk or velvet. If in doubt, try a test patch. Let the patch dry and check it before you shampoo further. To set up the portable shampooer, attach the shampooer cap to the end of the sprayer. The jar should be filled with warm water to the line marked water, then filled to the second line with Kirby carpet shampoo. Use only specially formulated Kirby carpet shampoo for best results. Screw the jar and portable sprayer together tightly. Then attach the sprayer to the attachment hose. The attachment hose should be connected to the air exhaust port and the air intake guard should be installed on the front of the unit. Turn the Kirby on and pull the trigger to spray suds onto the surface being cleaned. Or spray onto a sheet of newspaper and then apply to the surface being cleaned. Adjust the portable sprayer for proper suds volume by turning the spray adjustment control located on the trigger. Work suds into the surface with a soft brush or sponge until they disappear. Then allow the surface to dry completely. Finally, vacuum to remove the dry residue which contains grime and loosened dirt. To purchase additional Kirby shampoo, contact your local distributor or if distance or convenience is a factor, call Kirby Direct at 1-800-437-7170.